Hey gang, it's me again, Brad Fitzpatrick, with another episode of World of Horror, but today we have a very, very special guest I'm going to share this game with. Would you like to say hi? Come on, you can do better than that. Hi. We're playing Scarlet. She likes horror stories just as much as I do, and I figured this might be a very interesting game to share with her. So it's something brand new. What we're going to do is we're going to continue with the 2-bit. I like the 2-bit. Um, I like the aesthetic of the colors. We're just, we're going to go ahead and continue. Um, I want to do, I want to go a full play. I don't want to like a quick play. Uh, like there's supposed to be choose your character background and other playthroughs. Do you want to play in a customized playthrough? Yeah, or do you want customized. To, okay, we're going to do a customized playthrough. Oh, Did let's I see. Uh, let's see. First off. We're going to have the World of Horror base game, because we don't have really much of anything unlocked. Um, and we're going to have... Uh, oh, we can, I guess we can add that. World of Horror unlockables, yeah. Okay, we can do that. And then we have the World of Horror. We have uh, more students. That's all that basically says. We're going to go next. <clears throat> okay, one, one last thing. A tall man left his... Oh, go ahead. You, if you want to read it, go ahead. One last thing. A tall man left a suitcase for you this morning. He said... You will know the password. I wonder what it could be mean. Okay, well basically this means it's going to randomize the seed, which that means it's the base game is something different almost every single time that you play, depending upon the password. What do you want our password to be? We have five letters. Dad? You want dad? How about D-A-D-D-Y? Yeah, daddy! <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, we'll There we go. Daddy is our seed. Continue. And then it's gonna be Scarlet. Let's see. Well, it's not gonna be able to do that much. But alright, here we are. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980 something. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new, unknown threats. Old gods, malicious, eldritch beings who ruled the earth aeons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at the last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Boom. Okay. This is how we get to create our character. Okay, so who do we got? We are... Do we want to be female? Yeah. Okay, we are going to be... Oh, we got... Okay, so we got Kyrie. We've got yeah. Aiko. Uh, Haru is a male. Mizuki is a female. And we have Koji. So we have... We have, uh, we have Kyrie who has um, increased knowledge but less strength, starts with one random spell. Yeah. We've got uh, Aiko, which has increased dexterity but less knowledge, but starts with bonus combat speed. Or we have Mizuki, who starts with a higher charisma and less strength, but starts with a random ally. Uh, uh... An ally is a friend, basically. Mm, what's charisma? Uh, charisma is how much people like you. Basically how, you know, you can walk into a room and be like, hey, how you doing? And other people are like, oh my god, it's that person. Oh. Yeah, you know. That's the first person. The first person has uh, knowledge, means she's really smart. What's the second one? The second yeah. one is dexterity, which means that she's very fast, she's nimble, she's like gymnastics. Yeah, I like her. Okay. Well, then we will go that way. What is this? Oh. Uh, I guess that's a, that's a background. But I guess we can get different backgrounds later on, as well as different people. Okay, so we're going to continue on with Aiko Takahashi, 18-year-old female. Baylor, barely surviving after a ghost of a drowned man kept her underwater. She is determined to solve this mystery. Boom. 
Classic mode, Old Gods Are Awakening. Your only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. End of the world is at hand. Ooh, we should have picked the smart one. It's okay. Everything's a little bit different. Additional modes will unlock as you progress. Okay, so that's the only, the only mode that I've got right now. Somewhere, a group of people gathers trying to awaken their master. Somewhere, a group of people. Yep. Okay, select an old god. What old god? We're going to go with Thak Atarasu, the spider god. No, I hate uh, spiders. <laughs> Ith Otu, the devouring fire. Ath uh, Yolazoth, the towering eye. Or Go Goizo, the law, the thing forsaken by God. Which one? <laughs> the spider one. You want, you want the spider? People are going to get scared by the spider. Oh, look, 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 look. The it's... terrible spider god. Shank yeah, I you're not going to be able to pronounce that. I had a hard enough time. Is what's again waking for, from its slumber, blind, blinded by its impossible to satisfied satisfy hunger it ha has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison that's correct you Eternal can't web you can't run from combat. combat all right so we're gonna be stuck in combat boom okay we're just gonna call it atarasu we're gonna leave out this front part that's really hard to pronounce so atarasu is once again awakening from its slumber <laughs> And blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Old God's Rule. You can't escape from combat encounters. Backstory. World of Horror. Character exclusive perk cards only. Continue. Boom, Do I keep boom, having boom. bad ideas? No, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Welcome to World of Horror. Important messages appear here. First time playing? Um, I have played before. So here's what we have to do. Should we, should we do the tutorial for you so you see what, how, how the game really kind of progresses? Yeah. Okay, first time playing, we're going to play that. Welcome, and thank you for trying World of Horror. Inspired by adventure games from the 80s, back like when I was a kid. Oh. The, yeah. <laughs> the, the you vision... were born in the 80s? Yeah. You're old. Ah, thank you, I know. <laughs> the visual <laughs> overload may be a little disorientating in the beginning. In this short tutorial, I'll do my best to explain various elements and prepare you to fight the horrible old gods. Powell, creator of the game. Why, thank you. You'd be a hundred and something years old. No. What? That's 1800s. I, I was born in 1982. I wouldn't be a hundred years old. I'd be 37. Oh. <laughs> How old are you? Just I'm 37. <laughs> okay, uh, that's the main game screen. Here you will interact with your surroundings to solve mysteries and fight enemies. That's the user interface part of the screen. Here you'll manage your inventory, cast spells, and access game options. All informed actions will be added to the log here. Bam, that's you. World of Horror has RPG elements, and your attributes are described by six basic stats. Bam, 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 bam. And you can hover over them to see what they are. Okay, we've got a higher set of dexterity, though. So we get, like, what, eight? So there's your inventory. You can keep up to four items. Click here to inspect, use, and equip. Use or equip anything you pick up. Three equipment slots. Okay, just press good through your playthrough. Look at that. See all the ghosts that are following her? It's kind of cute. More helpful tips will appear. Would you like to turn the combat tutorial on or start during your first enemy encounter? We'll hit yes. Okay, so first off, we have no real place to go, so we're going to go home. Yep. We're going to head home. Check your mailbox. What, what is that? Continue. Of course I am. I wanted you to see that. Okay, back in your home, you think of your next move. You are currently not investigating any weird mysteries. And we are not. What is this? Okay, so I don't have any spells. Uh, I don't have anything there. Allies and perks, none there. Town status. A feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. As doom progresses, all God's influence will slowly corrupt and change this calm seaside town. Okay, and here is... Oh, I can't level up yet. You don't have enough experience. Seed Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is. Here's the old god. Oh, look at that. <gasps> kind of creepy, isn't it? You're going to get really scared from that. Well, let's see. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Um, we Take a shower. Why are we going to take, take, take a bath? Why are we going to take a bath? Take a bath, please. All right, we'll go take a bath. The shower will help calm you down and do uh, wonders for your sore muscles. What temperature? No, we don't want to do that. Oh, but I think we're already 
we're already in here. Okay, so what do we want our temperature at? We have uh, hot water, extra stamina gain, warm water, small experience boost, or cold water, extra reason gain. Let's do warm water since we have no... Uh, we're pretty good on everything else, so let's do warm water get some extra experience. Okay, but here's how the game starts This is our mystery room <clears throat> All right inexplicable and morbid events are plaguing your town for some time now You've marked down five of them hoping that there's something connecting <coughs> them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any any order you want be aware your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries Okay, so let's see what we got. We've got this one this is um, a spine-chilling story of school scissors, which I have actually done. Okay. Yeah, I to do that one. Okay, there's also the freaky feature of found footage. There is eerie episode of evolving eels. Mm. There is a curious case of contagious coma. Mm. And there is a rotten report of rancid ramen. Ramen. You want that one? Yeah. All right, rancid report of rancid ramen. Boom, we're going to do this one. Okay, out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover, discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? Right? Yeah. Okay. Even the spider god? Ew. Yeah, I mean, you might be eating the spider god flesh. Ew. Right? Okay, to advance this mystery, investigate the circle location as you progress. The location and rules may change. You can't investigate your home. Yeah. Why can't I? Because there's nothing going on, Tron. This is a, you know. But why, why did we see that weird rumbling, like, thing? Let's investigate. Alright, so we got Dumpster Dive. Discard two item cards to complete this quest. Uh, food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach turn. Watching local news just on a familiar street, it's a feature about the newest ramen shop. So, we need to, uh, where are we supposed to go? Uh, I think we're so okay, travel to apartments, travel to downtown, travel to home, travel to school, hospital, travel to forest, seaside, mansion, riverside. So we're going to go to the downtown. I guess that's not where we're I guess we have to go here, to travel to the apartments. We're going to investigate the apartments. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? Savior. The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side puts an accent, accent, accent on real and hello. Are you are you still there? Should we continue to listen to the man? Or do we hang up immediately? What do you think, Scarlet? Hang up immediately. Okay, we're going to hang up immediately. You put down the phone, a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? Minus one reason. Okay. Uh, I, think, I think we have to keep going here. Keep investigating the apartments. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Okay, what do we do? Get closer to the door and ask what's the matter, or call the police. Uh, get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. Okay. Dexterity check. Success. Before you can answer, the door's letter box suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stand still. After a couple of minutes, the man retreats, probably unsure if you're home after all. Plus five experience. Good job, Scarlet. Ooh, yay, you did a good one. <coughs> <coughs> all right, you find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who has been watching you. 
They wish you luck on your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how did this envelope end up in your bedroom? Plus two funds, minus one reason. Okay, now we're going to head down to uh, downtown. And shop for some items. Okay, we're going to investigate the downtown streets. The investigating investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weekend state? Do we take a nap, buy a coffee, jog around the block, or we don't have a hot basket? So how do we stay awake? Buy a coffee. Buy a coffee. This double frat macchiato is nice. Pick me up. Minus one funds. We're going to continue investigating downtown, because that is exactly where we are. Uh, maybe... Okay. Now we're investigating shop. Something is wrong. You don't see anyone on the street, and you could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. Minus one reason. Why do we have so? Why do we have reasons? Um, the the reason is basically it's not so much as in like the reasons for something. It's more along the lines of um, your sanity, how you can logically think. Okay. Bless you. Bless you. Walking through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Uh oh. Realize what's happening. Perception check, success. They stole your wallet. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before it's disappearing into the crowd. Plus five experience. Ew, yay! Now we caught a person. Okay. I don't know how... I don't have any items yet. We so. need to go to the dumpster dive. The red bowl is pushed in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. So, yep, yeah, we're... Getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery and shadows move in fantastic and unacceptable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Do you continue looking, run in terror, confront the stranger? We don't have a shovel to dig yet. Confront the stranger. Alright, charisma check failure. A priest from the nearby temple asks what you were doing. When you can't make up a lie, you are thrown out. Minus one stamp. Okay, oh, we have, with a slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. Basically, we walked into the restaurant, we got ourselves a bowl, and we uh, went ahead and we're scooping some out, and now we're going to go to the investigation lab. With, with the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Which we don't have this special option, so we only have the vial of ramen soup. A mere day later, your friend rings your door. Her face is pale, and in a shaky hand, she holds an analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts. While they couldn't identify some of the particles, they did discover highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. There you go. This is a week later, police, and an unofficial stand where the ramen restaurant used to be. Nothing remains but a gap in the street and aimless confusion. Customers. Oh, so they said this was scary. This ain't scary. There are scary parts, okay? It's not meant to be, like, really, really horrifying. But we solved this one. We got the B rank. 30 experience, minus 3 doom. You'd like to believe that there's the end of it, but snippets of newspapers from other cities unsettle you. Brief articles about an exciting new ramen restaurant opening up and its mysterious owner keep showing up. You can no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. There we go. So we solved one mystery. We have to solve four more, okay? There we go. The old gods stir. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be the radio mast failure. So we're all cut off from the outside world right now. Okay, okay inside your mailbox you find a small key. Take the key. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go... Wait, we need, wait, go back. I want to see what some of those buttons do. Do like the, the that one. Change, change clothes. clothes. Yeah, okay. the change clothes. We don't have very many other clothes. I think we have a... It's a nice movie poster. I don't think we... You stand in the mirror wondering which outfit to wear. I don't think we actually have very much. It's looking yeah. good. See, Look, we, we have some outfits. Well, I mean, we can't click on them. So, oh, they're over here. Okay, so we got Captain, which is, I think is what she's wearing. Gym clothes is that. 
Uh, sock Halin is that, and Teacher's Pet is that. Uh, wait, show me them again. That's her original one. That's her that gym one. clothes. You want the gym clothes? Alright, we'll go with gym clothes. Okay, then we've got Take a Peek Through the Peephole. Take a Peek Through the Peephole. Someone is standing in the shadow watching your door. Oh, okay, let's go back to town screen. And we're gonna go start a new mystery, access your storage, which I don't think I actually have anything in my storage yet, yeah. We don't have any items just yet. Okay. Save progress, we might as well save. Oh, I guess we, we you know. We'll have to save and exit. Yeah, yeah, but we're not gonna exit. We're just gonna keep going until, for just a little bit longer, okay? All right, let's start a new mystery. Since we got that one completed, do we want to do the Curious Case of Contagious Coma? Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. That one. You want to do the eels? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex. Kana. <clears throat> what? That weird dude is back. You know the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious what weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. Alright. How about we look like... Um... To advance the mystery, investigate the circled location. As you progress, the location and rules may change. Okay. Says, I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Alright, so we're going to investigate the apartments again. But now we have an ally. We have Kana as our teammate. Yep, while looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman. Her skin, a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You just struggle to look at it. Charisma check failure. Intimidated by the unsettling painting, you're haunted by nightmares. Minus two reason. <laughs> Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. So, let's travel to school and investigate the library. You find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Check plaques and trophies, or break the window and grab it. Break the window. All right, you break the glass window, cutting yourself a little, but in the process. This metal isn't made of gold, but you'll be able to sell it easily. Plus one funds, minus one stamina. Aw, the neighbor's office at school is empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Canada decides to take one jar home. How can she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? All right, we're gonna head back and investigate the apartments again. Yeah. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing in the last second. When you get to get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. Oh. No, no, come back here. Come back here. <laughs> it says during each turn you'll you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from action ring B. Bam, bam, bam. Once you build the sequence uh, sequence bar C, press the launch sequence to finish your turn. Okay, so what do we have? We don't really have any. Um. Okay. All she does is give us one minus one damage, so we don't have any weapons, right? All we have is our fist, so we're gonna. Um, Offensive actions, we're going to... Uh, we have a knife. No, that's just what that is. Okay, so why can't I fill this up? Or do I have to... Is there click anything here? Yeah, I know, this is this. Uh, oh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah, but it's not letting me click anything. Fill the combat sequence with white bar with moves and click launch sequence on your enemy, which I'm trying to do. It's not letting me. It's not letting me. Why are you not letting me? Why are you? 
Oh, because it helps calm you down. What? Oh, uh, why are you not letting me do this? Neck. Look at him. Oh, that's why. So we're at a standstill. We can't do anything. <laughs> okay, and the reason why is because we can't run away. <coughs> because of the god that we that we chose, right? Um is the uh is, right, the spider god which basically makes it so you cannot run away. Okay. This is a ghost that can't be hurt by regular means. So, because I can't hurt it, it's not allowing me to click on anything to hurt it. So I can't run away, I can't defend, I can't do anything because the tutorial is still here. Oh no, we may have busted the game. Oh! Because in reality, I can't. we can't do anything now. Because she can't cast any spells, I have no weapons, and it's not letting me do anything. Ooh! So I think we're done. Yeah, we broke the game! Yay! Yep. So remember, guys, if you choose the Spider God, don't use the combat tutorial. Don't use the tutorial because it'll get into a ghost combat, and you don't have anything to actually fight against the ghost. Because I mean, obviously, we didn't. Uh, so all right, we're gonna end it here. Just when you see a scary, scary ghost. You know, and that. yeah, and there's more. There are lots more. So we'll have to play some more, right? That's so I know. So. So why don't we go ahead and say our goodbyes now, and maybe I can fix this, and we'll come back and play something else at a later date. All right. So Scarlet, uh -huh. would you like to say goodbye? Bye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>